Assalamu alaikum, my name is Aksa Sattar and today I will present the topic of population genetics. First of all, what is the population genetics? Population genetics is the study of allele frequency within a population as known as the population genetics. Study of allele frequencies must be noted that and the history of the population genetics is that in 1920s and 1930s Harry Fisher and J.B.S. Haldane and C.O. White work on the population genetics. The importance of the population genetics in which the population genetics we understand that why and how the frequency of the alleles and the genotype change over time within and between the population. An example is that the humans, Down syndrome, that commonly known as the trisomy 21. In trisomy 21, the individual with Down syndrome have three copies of the chromosome 21 rather than the two. And uh, in the population genetic variation, the increase firstly is selection, second is migration, that is mutation, mutation and fourth is genetic drift. And the basic term that used in population genetics. First is the population, all organisms of the same species or the group who live in a particular area and are capable for interbreeding is known as a population. And what is the gene, the basic fundamental functional and physical unit of the head, it is known as the gene. And the gene made DNA influence the specific characteristics and they can pass to the offsprings. Allele. Allele has the different forms of the same gene. Example is that the flower color in the pea plants, the dominant purple allele, and the recessive white allele, and for the height, the dominant tall allele, and the recessive short allele. For the pea color, the dominant yellow allele, and the recessive green allele. And then term used in population genetics, that is the gene flow. In a gene flow, is a movement of the gene from one population to another. Population is known as a gene flow. Example is that the migrating animals often carry the new alleles from one population to other population and they interbreed with the new population for to occur the gene flow. And for the gene pool, in a gene pool is set of all the genes or genetic information in any population that is a variety of a particular species is not the gene pool. History is that the Russian genetics Alexander Alexander Sekivich Sesmorovsky first formulated the concept in 1920s gene flow. And what is the dominant trait? And the dominant factor or the allele that expresses itself in presence or in absence of recessive trait is known as the dominant trait. And dominant trait must be represented by the capital letter and their example like uh, round seeds tall plants due to the dominant character in pea plants and uh, such a trait. Then the next term we do, they are used in population genetics or recessive trait. A recessive trait able to express itself only in the absence of the dominant trait. They must be represented by the lower case letter and example dwarf plants, wrinkle seed, white flower, etc. And then phenotype. Phenotype the observable properties of the organism. It produced by the interaction of the genotype and the environment is known as the phenotype. And genotype, the genetic makeup of the cell or the organism or the individual that contribute to its phenotype. An example is that the homozygous recessive allele that show their genes by small, small and what their phenotype uh, showed at the attached ear lobes. And um, heterozygous capital is smallly, and um, their phenotype showed that the detached ear lobes. And then allele frequency. Allele frequency is the variety frequency of the allele, the particular locus in the population that usually will be expressed as a portion or percentage. And what is the genotype frequency? Genotype frequency in the population is the number of the individuals with a given genotype divided by the total number of the individuals in the population that is known as the genotype frequency. 
and then the term the basic subunit of the population genetics is the hardy weinberg equilibrium the genetic frequency the definition of the hardy weinberg equilibrium is that the genetic frequency in the population will remain constant from one population to the next population in the absence of the disturbing factors means that the environmental influences uh, will remain constant not change no one influence on them like mutation the equilibrium of the allele frequency of the introducing new alleles in the population gh hardy english mathematician and uh, will have a winberg the german physician both work on, on the hardy winberg equilibrium according to their name give this uh, theorem the hardy winberg equilibrium hardy winberg principle like that and the assumptions of the hardy winberg equilibrium is that population are large gene flow not occur mutation are negligible and many meeting are random and natural selection not occur and the equation of the hardy winberg equilibrium is that the p plus q equal to 1 and p cos q plus 2 p q plus q is q equal to 1 this uh, in which uh, show that any organism in the in the environment must be uh, made by the two organisms the pairs means that pairs seven that the first uh two alleles is present with the so that's why in which p and q showed the two alleles in any organism p showed the dominant character and q showed at the recessive character in the individual the 2pq to show that the frequency of the heterozygous dominant and p score showed that the frequency of the homozygous dominant and q square showed that the frequency of the homozygous recessive an example is that Suppose a population with a frequency of dominant gene is 0.9 and recessive gene is 0.1. Solution is that the formula of the equilibrium we put p square plus 2 pq plus q square is equal to 1. And the value of p square means that the dominant gene if value that show is 0.9. 0.9 put key value and 2 you had two and multiply the calculation which wants I am up as p square q value I two frequency a was 0.81 and 2 pq q frequency is 0.18 and q square q frequency is 0.01 that equal to 1 remain constant in the bar in the environment the frequency 0.18 a that show the frequency of the heterozygous dominant and 0.81 show that the frequency of the homozygous dominant and 0.01 show the frequency of the homozygous recessive and then next heterosis what is the heterosis the superiority of f1 hybrid over the both of its parent in terms of yield or some of the characters uh, or heterosis is increase the vigor, increase the growth, or increase the function of the hybrid or the parents, resulting in the cross between the between them. And the term heterosis was first coined by the Shell in 1914, and sometimes hybrid may be inferior to the weaker parents, also known as the heterosis. And then the method for the estimation of the heterosis. First is mid parent heterosis, second is better parent heterosis, and third is commercial heterosis. First, mid parent heterosis. In the mid parent heterosis, the one habit compared with the mean value of the parent. And better parent heterosis, the F1 habit compared to with the best parent. And the commercial heterosis F1 habit compared with the commercial values that uh, did work in the, those in the, did work in those days. And then the theories of the heterosis, the first is dominance, and the second is over dominance. Third is epistasis. First is dominance. Dominance that uh, first be 
uh, work that gave the dominance theory of the hydrolysis first is the Davenport 1908 and Bruce 1910. Dominance is that dominance theory of hydrolysis is that the hydrolysis is due to the superiority of dominant allele over the recessive allele. That in name is uh, always indicate that dominant mean dominant and over dominance mean the hydrosis due to the heterozygosity heterozygosity ke wajah se hydrosis mein ka theorem jo hai over dominance ye work kar raha hai aur isko jo publish karwaya jis pe work kiya over dominance pe wo east and shell in 1908 and then is epistasis govin in 1952 the work on the epistasis and according to that the hydrosis is due to the epistatic interaction and then effective heterosis effective heterosis increase the reproductive ability reproductive ki ability usko increase karta hai iske liye size ko general vigor ko aur better quality karta hai hame deta hai iske liye greater resistance karta hai disease ke khilaf aur pests ke against and they are the greater adaptability of this or faster growth rate and what is interbreeding in interbreeding two close related organisms meet with each other and they produce the offsprings especially over many generations that known as the interbreeding and the effect of the interbreeding is to increase the homozygosity in progeny and the interbreeding in the children commonly display the decrease muscular functions reduce the height and the lung function they are the very high risk diseases and the causes causes in the inbreeding first is albinism in the albinism a genetic disorder that cause the absence of the skin pigment and second is cause of the inbreeding bone fracture in the bone fracture the injury or to the bones from a fall or accident and fluid disease uh, flu also a disease that caused by the virus and the last topic of the published genetics is the systematic and discursive pressure a large random meeting of the population is stable with respect to the gene and genotype frequency in absence of the genes that lead to change its genetic frequencies there are two processes through the gene and genotype frequency change first is systematic process and second is dispersive process in a systematic process they lead to change the gene frequency in a manner that predictable both in amount and in direction there are three types in the systematic process first is migration mutation and selection and in the dispersive process arises small population from the effects of sampling and is predictable in amount but not in direction and this process include the genetic drive thank you so much